Good evening, everyone. I'm Chaelin Sin from Year 12. And I'm a Korean student. As well, I'm a cross-border student. I think someone might not understand what is a cross-border student. So giving a little explanation. Cross-border students mean the student who studies in Hong Kong but whose housing is in China. So they wake up every morning, cross the border, goes to school, and go back to home at the night. Before COVID-19, there was 30,000 Hong Kong students who were cross-border students, and I'm one of them. Well, it sounds fun, but there is a lot of unexpected things happen. For example, 2019 protest. Well, I couldn't come to school because the protest was there and the immigration was stuck. I couldn't attend the school. But that was only a small uncertainty. The biggest uncertainty I have in my life is probably COVID-19. Well, COVID-19, I'm pretty sure it's everyone's unexpected uncertainty. Well, it struck me pretty hard because I couldn't attend school for one and a half year because of COVID. And after a long time of one and a half year of no school, no online schooling, no Zoom, when I came to Hong Kong, I have to give up living with my family because they are in Shenzhen. So I had to live with my grandmother and my aunt. Well, some people ask me, hey, you're not living with your parents anymore. Isn't it fun? I wish. I wish it was fun. But my grandmother and my aunt is not a caring person, and they didn't like me. So I have to take care of myself. I have to clean myself, like do laundry, like wash dishwashing, everything. I had to do it myself, even cooking. And since one and a half year of school, no school was a big deal for me. I, when I came back to school, it was very hard. Still now, catching up isn't an easy thing. But from this uncertainty, what I learned is life skills. Now, if someone asks me to go to somewhere abroad, I can guarantee myself with a healthy lifestyle. Likewise, today, I want to share one of my most significant uncertainties and how it taught me a life lesson. The story goes back to 2022 February. I would like to ask, do anyone remember what happened in 2022 February? Well, 2022 February, it's one of the biggest wave in Hong Kong with COVID. There was 50,000 COVID patients every single day. And my parents were too concerned and they asked me to return back to mainland. Well, I wish I could, and I did, but it was very, very difficult. Every day um, here to Shenzhen Strait, there was 2,000 quota, but booking that quota isn't easy. It's, I guarantee it was harder than booking a BTS concert. <laughs> Seriously. The quota was out within a minute and two minutes, and I never see a free seat over there. Let me show you the map. Here is where we live, which is Hong Kong. And just here is Shenzhen. The distance apart from here to here, it's only 30 kilometers. But because of no quota, I fly to here, fly back, use total 2,500 kilometers. Yes. And that was one of the first un uncertainty I met. And my parents asked me if I can fly to Shanghai by myself. But there was no choice. I had to go back home. I wish I demanded to go back home. So I said, yes, I can. So I took the flight on March 3rd and got to Shanghai. And I thought it was going to be OK I, since I got into the mainland. But guess what? The second uncertainty came. Shanghai lockdown. The two days before I get released from the quarantine, I got the news that the Shanghai might lock down. And 
There was no planes going back to Shenzhen from Shanghai since the Shenzhen airport was refusing all the flights from Shanghai. So my mom called me with a trembling voice and asked me, Chaelin, the only way you can come back is taking a train. Not the fast rail train that we think of, like fancy ones. It's the ancient ones, which takes 11 hours. Well, there was no choice again. So I said, mom, it will be fine. It will be totally fine. 11 hours is not a big deal. I was stupid. <laughs> So, on 17th of March, I got released from the quarantine at 6 p.m. and my train was the next day 6 a.m. So I was planning to stay and chill in the train station taking selfies for evidence later on for university application or whatever. But then I got kicked out of the station at 12 a.m. The train staff came to me using Chinese said, you, you have to get out of the station. The station is going to get closed. I was like, I thought it was going to be 24 hour station. They said, no, I had to go out. Sure, I get out. But the point is there was no one cafe near there. There was no hotel. And the outside of Shanghai was nine Celsius degree. And at that time, Hong Kong was getting hotter and hotter. So I don't have any thick clothes with me. I'll show you the, how the train station looked like. Can you see the people here? They got kicked out too. We were on the floor of the train, outside of the train station. Well, the third uncertainty came, but this one was a good one. My dad's friend, he heard that I got kicked out of the station, so he, bring, he came to the station, although he couldn't bring me to his home, but he was staying with me for the whole night, shivering together in the cold. And at 5 a.m., he sent me to the station. Although he didn't bring me anything, but it was a really big insurance and a big relief for me. So at 7 a.m., I safely took the train 11 hours and I was able to get back home and see my family for six months. So what I want to tell you with this uncertainty is, well, this is just a train, right? A journey. But as you might aware, life is a journey too. And my life sounds long, but it is not. Like, I thought it was going to be long, but now I'm facing DP, and two years later, I'm not two years, next year I'm going to graduate the school. So what I want to tell you is, when you face the uncertainty in your life, there will be more than you expected, and it might be good, and it might be bad. There is no insurance. It might be tough, it might be easy. But what I want to tell you is, don't try to make it perfect. Imagine in that situation, like got kicked out. I want to try something like make a better decision. Do you think I could be able to go back home? No, I couldn't. So when there is a tough time came, when, this, when there is an uncertainty came, just try to endure it. You don't have to do more perfect. You don't have to try to make it better. Just endure till the end. Then one day, you will find out that you overcome it and there is a valuable lesson behind it. Second, be positive. Yes, it sounds hard. And someone, a lot of people ask me, didn't I get intimidated at that situation? Well, yes, I was, of course. I'm an underage student and I'm a foreigner. And in the train station, I was, of course, got scared, but I have the positivity. I can go home. I will be able to get home. So I'll be fine. Likewise, in your lifetime, please take the positivity and try, just try to endure any, like endure anything. 
Just don't give up. You don't have to make it the best way. You don't have to make it good. Just endure it. Take the positivity. Then you will find out you will reach the goal like me. So I wish 2023 you guys can reach all your goals. And thank you for listening to my speech.